This is the all new Elementary OS 7 Horus. The much awaited update to the distro that had made a big splash in the Linux world 10 years ago is finally here. This new version has been highly anticipated by Elementary OS enthusiasts as it promises exciting new features and enhancements that make Elementary a better experience than ever before. This release is a major leap from Elementary OS 6 series to 7 series. I installed Elementary OS 7 as soon as it rolled out and I've been using it from a week now and there are some amazing things here and few things that are not so amazing anymore. Elementary OS comes with a new base, a new kernel under the hood, a refreshed set of applications, many polishing touches and the same great computing experience that we fell in love with. Elementary OS 7 is also a very important release because it's the last major version release that is version 6. Elementary OS took off in a completely new direction with its sandboxed apps concept. With this release, Elementary OS doubles down on that idea and that can be a make or break deal for you. You'll probably end up loving Elementary OS or you'll hate it, there's no in between here. So let's jump right in and have a look at the all new Elementary OS 7, its performance, the user interface, stability, the software choice and finally see if Elementary OS 7 is for you or not. We'll also talk about where Elementary OS is headed and its future because Elementary OS is on a divergent path right now. Elementary OS comes with its homegrown Pantheon desktop environment and let me tell you, this is a gorgeous looking desktop. It makes you fall in love with it on first look. Pantheon desktop is possibly the single biggest reason for Elementary's success. Every time I install Elementary OS, I always take a moment just soaking it in. Pantheon desktop is beautiful, functional and minimal at the same time. The dock at the bottom houses your favorite and running apps. The menu here has all your apps and a search. And your control icons are here. That's pretty much it. We get a dark mode and a light mode here. Elementary developers had implemented this dark mode in the last version and it was a suggestive dark mode and was the best implementation of dark modes across all Linux distros. Now even GNOME desktop uses a similar suggestive dark mode after being inspired by this. We can also customize our experience with 10 different accent colors here. Elementary OS has a very good application theme and this is one of those desktops that doesn't make you feel like you need to change anything here. But yeah, if you have a favorite color, you can go ahead and use that here. This one's mine. With this version, we also get a new set of icons. The icon pack is now even more uniform with all the icons having this cute square shape with rounded corners or a full round. Elementary OS has a rich notification system. It gives us these 3D badges and these can even come with action buttons that let you do some quick actions directly from the notifications. Another thing that I highly appreciate here is the font rendering. Elementary OS has one of the best font renderings across all Linux distros. I like Ubuntu's font rendering and handful of other distros. Elementary OS brings very crisp fonts that look super polished. It's these little things that bring about that superiority to the experience of Elementary OS. Even the animations and desktop effects are so subtle here. They are there, they are not flashy, just a touch here and there and I love it here. Pantheon desktop is very simple, it doesn't flood you with a ton of options everywhere. There is that touch of minimalism but the desktop itself is fully functional. Pantheon also provides you workspaces which let you group your running apps together. But yeah, there is a mild learning curve if this is your first time using Elementary OS. For example, window controls on apps are a bit unique here. The close button is on the left side of the window, the maximize button is on the right side of the window and the minimize button is a hidden easter egg. Kidding, there's no minimize button here. Yeah, you can correct all these using the Pantheon Tweak Tool application. I have given the instructions to install that in the description below. Overall, Pantheon is a gorgeous desktop that's highly polished as well as enjoyable. With this major update, almost everything about Pantheon is the same, with polishing touches here and there. It's the same loved and adored look, feel and workflow. This is particularly significant because consistency in how you use your computer is very important for many people. Linux Mint users will know what I'm talking about. Top points for Elementary OS 7 in the user interface department. The newest release of Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. While it took some time for the new version to come out, it is a good thing. Elementary developers have taken the time to iron out all the bugs, polish stuff up and provide the same reliable and high quality experience that Elementary OS is famous for. Elementary as a desktop OS is very stable. It comes with very well tested software and it's an almost flawless experience to use. It may be for work, studies or your general home computing. Elementary OS is decent. It's a solid experience throughout and personally, I've never faced any major issues here. And Elementary OS 7 will be supported till 2028-29. So once you install it, you're good for a very long time. 
Moving on to the usability, I do have some issues here, but none of these are bugs or problems. I just find myself not agreeing with some of the choices made by elementary developers. First one being the choice of default browser. Epiphany or Gnome Web is the default browser here and it has been on elementary ever since. I'll be blunt here, but Gnome Web is not something that can be your daily driver after you use Firefox or Chrome. I'm really happy to see Epiphany developing. We can install Firefox extensions here and now we can also create web apps on elementary OS. But right now, Epiphany browser is just not there yet. You can go ahead and download either Firefox or Chrome. I've given the download instructions in the description below. Again, these cannot just be installed from the software center here. This is again a hindrance for Linux newcomers. Then these window controls. I actually tried to keep using elementary OS without correcting this and I agree. After a couple days, I was okay using them but still use simple options to change these in the settings. Being different for the sake of being different is not really a good thing. And yeah, pressing the windows button or the super button brings up the shortcuts instead of opening the app menu. While this can be easily changed from the settings, it's still a bad experience for Linux newcomers. All the issues I mentioned are not bugs but the experience that's intended by developers. It's time they are changed for the better now. Other than that, usability is pretty good here. Along with being beautiful, elementary OS is also very easy to use. Dock, menu and status controls, that's that. We get a minimal set of pre-installed apps so the installation itself is not bloated. It's lean. You install whatever you want and make it your own. So stability is top notch on elementary OS 7. Usability wise, I think that devs need to rethink few defaults. Apart from that, everything's golden. Elementary OS is an innovator in the software availability department. Its App Center forms a big part of what Elementary OS is. App Center, Elementary's default software store, was the biggest graphical software store when it rolled out. With the last major version, that is 6, Elementary OS decided to use flat packs for all apps. This is a decision that will bring about mixed reactions. But in my opinion, the advantages far outweigh the cons here, as long as you have even modestly powered hardware. Elementary OS also envisioned a sustainable app ecosystem with its pay what you want model. Developers can release their apps directly on Elementary's app center and they can suggest a price. Users can pay either the suggested amount or any amount of their preference to download the apps. You can even get the apps for free by setting zero in the price box. This system created an inflow of new high quality apps to the app center here. By default, only these app center apps are visible here. These were created specifically for elementary OS. There is a decent collection here, but adding Flathub is very essential. Flathub is the largest library of Flatpak apps and contains great many applications. To enable Flathub repo on App Center, you just need to download and install any app from Flathub. This will populate all the Flatpak apps in App Center. They do show a non curated batch, which is nothing to worry about. Moving on, you can install apps from the official Ubuntu software repositories here as well. You can either use the app command or just install Synaptic Package Manager to graphically manage .deb packages. In the software department, Elementary has chosen to go on a very different path. Flatpaks are sandboxed apps that are isolated from the rest of the system and work flawlessly. They also take the security to a higher level. But the choice is there. You can use Elementary with its sandboxed apps or just install your favorite apps from the Ubuntu repositories. Overall, software availability is top notch on Elementary. In the performance department, Elementary is pretty good. The desktop is very responsive to user input and everything feels very nimble here. Elementary OS has sandboxed apps, but instead of Ubuntu snaps, they have gone with flat packs and this brings about a slight but noticeable improvement in app launch times compared to snaps. But yeah, still worse than if they had gone with native .dev packages. I mostly use dev packages installed using the app command so everything was very smooth for me. If you install Elementary on a SSD, then you should be just fine in all cases. Apart from this, using Elementary for day-to-day -day tasks is a very smooth experience. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, latest NVIDIA drivers work completely fine with Elementary OS 7 and this definitely improves the performance compared to the default open source drivers. All in all, Elementary offers a smooth experience across all kinds of tasks. Elementary might feel like a work-oriented system at first glance, but it is a great system to have some fun too. It's fairly simple to start gaming on Elementary. There's a good collection of games in the App Center, once you enable Flathub that is. You can also install games from the Ubuntu repositories. Games like Zero AD, Nexus, Alien Arena and many more are easily installable here. You can also install Steam with a single command here. And on Steam, we have tons of amazing games. 
Many games like CSGO, Dota 2, Tomb Raider series and many more are available naturally on Linux. Along with that, by enabling Steam Play, we can play most Windows titles like GTA 5, The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more like their Linux native. These Windows games are installed with Proton and the setup and configuration is automatic. The games install and play like they are Linux native. So yeah, work or play, both are fantastic on Elementary 7. Elementary has a large community of loyal fans. People who use Elementary, use Elementary. The thing about Elementary is, it just works. The state of Elementary that it comes out of the box, the desktop is fully functional, the apps you install work flawlessly because they are flat packs and you generally don't have any problems here. That can be a great advantage for Elementary. And even if you have any issues, it's very easy to find help online. Solutions to any issues or help you might need are just a google search away. The general things that most people need help with are changing the super button to open the app menu instead of shortcuts which you can do from keyboard settings in settings. Then to change the window controls, you need to install the Pantheon tweaks. The installation instructions are given in the description below. I also given the installation instructions for things like different browsers, Nvidia drivers and few other things in the description below. I hope it will be helpful to you. Installing and getting started with elementary OS is fairly simple. Go down to their website and download the ISO file. Flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Elementary installer will kick off and let you configure your elementary installation. It's all very simple. After installation, elementary comes almost in a usable state without the need to set up anything else. You just need to install your apps and well, you're good to go. We don't get Nvidia drivers out of the box here, neither there's a simple graphical way to do that. But you can install Nvidia drivers using the app command and it works flawlessly. I've given the commands to install NVIDIA drivers on Elementary OS 7 in the description below. You might also want to install the Synaptic Package Manager if you want to install .deb apps from the Ubuntu software repositories. Getting started with Elementary OS is really simple. It can be done over a cup of coffee, even by Linux newcomers, so top points here. Elementary OS is a respected distribution. Elementary, when it first came out, offered a super minimal desktop which had stunning looks and offered a great user experience. It was very different from anything we Linux users had back then. Then we got the App Center, which again was a fantastic software store. Then Elementary tried to create an app ecosystem where software developers were incentivized and motivated to create and maintain high quality apps. This is something that the Linux world needs. But last year, there were some issues in the Elementary core team and the team split up. It was also revealed that financially, Elementary was not performing good. We'll not get into that, but there was some ruckus which finally settled and Elementary OS moved on and it seems to be doing okay. But yeah, the whole thing did impact Elementary OS. With this version, Elementary seems to have achieved some incremental progress and that adds up. But yeah, there is a need for Elementary developers to plan out a proper future for Elementary, especially with what its app delivery philosophy is going to be. Flathub needs to be enabled out of the box to provide a more rich experience. The default app center apps just won't suffice for majority of people. That is one change I would like to see. But since it's Linux, you can install elementary OS and configure it to be whatever you want it to be. Overall, it provides a reliable computing experience, it's gorgeous and everything works here. And it's refreshed with an updated base, so definitely check it out. The download link for elementary OS 7 Horus is given in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my video of the best Linux distros of 2023. I've talked about the hottest distributions of this year and does Elementary OS make the list? Do check it out. Alright, this is the next text. See you in the next one.